Welcome everyone and get prepared for a long video today. Today we we will be doing the 2024 Democratic primary. All right, this is this is a possible matchup here. Um, I mean, the, this 2024 election Wikipedia page has been has just got an update. I think overnight, and it is a crazy. It is a crazy update. Before it was Abrams, Booker, Buttigieg, Harris, Klobuchar, and Whitmer, and then they added Hillary Clinton, Roy Cooper, Mitch. I don't. I, you know, I don't even know who some of these people are. Mitch, someone, Gina, someone, a secretary. Uh, the. Secretary of Rhode Island is on here now. Phil Murphy, uh, oh, he's the governor of Illinois. I think I've heard of him once, Pritzker. And then Julian Castro. So, uh, let's go to this primary. So, this is, so I chose a few of these candidates and added one of my own. So, this is, um, a contest between Andy Bashir, or, I'm sorry, Andy Bashir. I don't know why I said that weird. This is a contest between Andy Bashir of uh, the governor of Kentucky, who has, whose popularity has been rising drastically after the crisis in Kentucky, because we have learned that um, crises, you know, natural crises do lead to popularity because of the tornadoes. He has become hugely popular and big in the news. People love him, even outside the state. Julian Castro is the former um, housing I'm sorry, former Secretary of Housing and Urban Development in the Obama administration, also 2020 presidential candidate. Then we have Hillary Clinton, who won't be as powerful as you think, just because this is 2024. And, you know, people, they're not going to... Well, I'm sorry. The Biden-Harris administration in 2024 is going to be hugely unpopular, and Hillary Clinton will seen as that will be seen as that establishment Democrat who is, you know, who is affiliated with the administration. All right, and that's going to hurt her very, very badly. So, you know, she has a shot just because her name is Hillary Clinton, but uh, but you know, we'll see how this plays out. Then there's Stacey Abrams, who will be pretty popular. Stacey Abrams is um. Uh, the she's running for governor of Georgia in 2022. She's pretty popular. She's an African American. Then we have Chris Murphy, who is the young senator from Connecticut, very popular outside of his state. Um, and you know he wasn't on the Wikipedia page, but I do think that Chris Murphy would be a strong choice as the Democratic nominee in 2024. And I do think that he should be added as a potential because he is young. He brings hope. He's He's like an Obama figure. He worked with Obama very, very much and campaigned for him. Um, and I think that Chris Murphy might run for the Democratic nomination in 2024. So, uh, let's just go to home states real quick, because most of them will follow, you know, uh, their candidate. Like, Kentucky. Uh, you know, so we have to do this uh, little vote thingy. You know, Andy Bush, here, I see winning uh what 75 percent of the vote let's say and that gives him uh 41 of the 54 delegates now who would and you know we're going to change this obviously but let's say uh i think stacy abrams because she'll do pretty well in the south i think abrams could win some of it you know we're just we're just going to keep it simple um but like people like chris murphy Stacey Abram, or I'm sorry, uh, Hillary Clinton, Julian Castro, I don't see them doing very well in any state. I'll give Hillary Clinton one delegate coming out of the state of Kentucky. Okay, so we have, you know, I think Abrams does have a shot at taking 12 delegates out of the state of, of Kentucky. Then going to Texas, um, you know, this will be more competitive just because Julian Castro isn't someone like the governor, like Andy Bashir's, where everyone knows him. I mean, he was in the Obama administration, so he hasn't really served the people of Texas. Sure, he was the mayor of San Antonio, but he hasn't been elected by the people of Texas. However, I could, you know, he's not going to be too powerful um, in this case, so I, I, you know, I'll give him 50% of the vote about but I could see people like Stacey Abrams doing, you know, getting a good portion of the vote here. But, um, you know, hmm. you know, I'm gonna, I'm actually going to lower Julian Castro's vote uh, kind of a lot. You know, I see Stacey Abrams doing well in a state like this. Andy Bashir, I, do, I uh, see doing pretty well. I think he could win just as much as Stacey Abrams. I'm going to actually hire Stacey Abrams for a little bit. Then Julian Castro goes over here. Uh, you know, Hillary Clinton, maybe she wins some African Americans, but not many. And then, hey, uh, let's give Chris Murphy a delegate here. Why not? So, William Castro, I think, would really dominate the state of Texas. Well, I shouldn't say dominate, but win the most states out of the state of Texas. Hillary Clinton comes from New York, but that doesn't really mean anything. Because so many people live in New York. And, oh, I'm sorry, she's actually from Arkansas. But, hey, 
the, her home state's so mean, I think, because she, you know, she was born in Arkansas, I, I think, maybe not, maybe she was born in New York, then she served in the Senate in New York, her home state doesn't mean anything. Now, Abrams, I could see dominating in Georgia, uh, let's, I mean, I could see her getting high amount of vote here, 70%, let's give her, and then, uh, Bashir could win some. And then Julian Castro could win a few, maybe just as much as Bashir. Then Hillary Clinton. Oh, that's it. All right. You know, so Abrams will dominate in Georgia. She's going to do very well coming out of the state of Georgia. And then Chris Murphy in Connecticut. Uh, Chris Murphy, I mean, you know, a candidate isn't going to do too well in a state like Connecticut. So Chris Murphy is going to dominate because it is his home state. But this is a pretty establishment Democratic state, so I could see Hillary Clinton winning a few votes here. Let's give her eight delegates. And then, you know, uh, Abrams will be the most uh, popular after that. So she gets four delegates. So, you know, we so now we have the feel of things. Let's go through the rest of the states and the territories. We have a lot to get through. Uh, let's start in American Samoa. Um, you know, this did, this is a district or, or whatever territory that went to Michael Bloomberg in uh, the 2020 Democratic primary. And that was really interesting to me. So, you know, they go with kind of not to be like that, but kind of the old white guy candidate. Um but, interestingly enough, there is not that old white guy candidate. I mean, Andy Bashir would be the closest, but really he's not. And uh, Chris Murphy is really young, so he's not old white guy. Uh, but Hillary Clinton is going to be that establishment Democrat because, you know, sure they go for the old white guy, but they go for the establishment Democratic candidate. So I, I really see Hillary Clinton doing extremely well coming out of American Samoa, I could see them, I could see her taking five of their six delegates, and then, hey, I think, I think Julian Castro would come in second, you know, maybe Hillary Clinton wins four, and Castro wins two, Castro will do kind of well in this state, but American Samoa doesn't really mean anything, DA, what is, <laughs> hmm, what does DA stand for, I wonder, I have no idea, DA, I'm thinking of American Territories, D-A, I, I have no idea. Let's just give, how about we give Murphy one? But they have 13 delegates, what is this? Alright, let's give Murphy two, Abrams two, Clinton two, Julian Castro two, and Andy Bashir two, and then let's give Castro one more and Clinton one more. How about it? Oh, and Abrams one more, sure. I'm sorry. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, okay. All right. Oh, yeah, it's a tie. That's right. All right. Um, this is Guam right here. I know that one at least. Um, so Guam, 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 Guam. Uh, hmm. All right, Guam, uh, let's, let's see, let's see. Guam, you know, I could see them, you know, there's going to be another area where they're going to back Hillary Clinton. Um, but I, I see some people backing Chris Murphy, you know, more than Julian Castro, I'd say. So let's give Chris Murphy two, Hillary Clinton three, and then there's two more toss-ups. You know, Julian Castro might win one, and then uh, hmm, I think Hillary Clinton will, really would excel in a state like this, so I'll give her this one. Um, hmm, all right, uh, let's go to Puerto Rico, and I... What's NI stand for, I wonder? Northern. Hmm. I would think the Northern Mariana Islands, but there's no M. Because I know the Northern Mariana Islands have delegates, right? So let's just say NI is the Northern Mariana del is the Northern Mariana Islands. And, all right, let's go with it. All right, Um. so Northern Mariana Islands, you know, these Pacific Islands, they're going to go with that establishment candidate, as, as I explained earlier, and Hillary Clinton will be that person. You know, I say Hillary Clinton wins three of the six delegates, and then maybe Chris Murphy wins one, because, you know, I can see them, for, you know, being behind Chris Murphy. Uh, maybe Abrams wins one. And then maybe Julian Castro wins one. This isn't an area where Andy Bashir is going to excel very much. And then in Puerto Rico, <clears throat> this is hard, really. Um, but oh, it, it really isn't. Uh, Julian Castro. I mean that uh, that Hispanic community. They're going to back Julian Castro a lot. Um, I would give him seventy percent of the vote just because some are, will vote for Hillary Clinton because the. Because she's the establishment candidate. And then, uh, you know, maybe Chris Murphy wins some. 
and then uh, maybe a oh that's it all right let's go with it um the u.s virgin islands i'm not done yet the virgin islands they're gonna back hillary clinton a lot uh you know another you know i went through this already uh chris murphy some to some extent it could be chris murphy and then julian castro sure all right they're, they are very unimportant states, but now let's get into the big ones. California, a whopping 415 delegates. Now, this is the good stuff because this, these are, um, the, you know, this is a progressive state, right? So people like Andy Bashir, you know, sure, they might be pretty popular, but people like Andy Bashir, Clinton, um, uh, that's it really. Um, they're not going to win probably because... Californians want a progressive candidate. So really, I do think it would be a contest between Murphy, Abrams, uh, Castro, and, um, yeah, Murphy, Abrams, and Castro. I could see many doing well. But saying that, like, Bernie Sanders beat Hillary Clinton here in 2016, and Bernie won in that wide field of candidates in 2020, even with Elizabeth Warren taking votes from him, I mean, that just shows how progressive the state is. Uh... I really could see them backing Chris Murphy a whole lot. I could see him winning 30% of the vote. I do think Murphy would campaign here. I think it would be pretty powerful. But Stacey Abrams, I think, would win a few more votes than Chris Murphy. Just because she's she's a she's a really likable person. And many African Americans are going to vote for her. Many of them. And then, uh, you know, Hillary Clinton, of course. Obviously, every candidate will win some delegates here. So, I'll give Hillary some, you know, because she will win, you know, some moderate votes. Julian Castro. Julian Castro, I don't see doing too well just because he won't really appeal to these voters. I'll give him as much as Hillary. And then, um, Andy Bashir, I don't see doing very well. I'll, you know, let him have the rest of the 26 delegates. So, now... So now we have major shifts in a delegate count. We have, wow, we have Abrams leading with 317 votes. That's pretty crazy. Well, really isn't, I guess. Wait, did we do this one? Yeah, we did them. It's just a tie. That's why it's gray. All right, in Oregon, another very progressive area. I could see this as, a, as an area because they don't have many minorities in the state of Oregon. Sure, they have some. They're not discriminating here. But they don't have a whole lot, as much as states like Texas or California. And this is an area where I think Chris Murphy is going to do extremely well. Really appealing. And this is important here. Chris Murphy is going to appeal to white progressives. White progressives. Especially young white progressives. A lot. And I mean a lot. I think it would be enough to win in most of the delegates here. But, you know, progress, many progressives are going to back Stacey Abrams. It's a simple sign. And then Hillary Clinton is going to win some. Julian Castro, again, is going to win as many as uh, Hillary. And then Bashir is... Whoa, there's a lot of delegates still up, to, still up for grabs. So we have to switch this up. Murphy, maybe Murphy wins even 50% of the vote. Well, no, he won't. He'd win, let's say, 40%. Abrams, I will give a little more. Hillary Clinton, I'll give a little more, and then that's appropriate, I would say. In Washington, another progressive state, you know, these white progressives, they're going to back Chris Murphy. Not as much, I would say, but 25%, I think, would be good. And then Abrams will win some. Hillary, I do, I do see doing well, just because this is a pretty establishment state. Just a little less than Abrams, I would say. And then, you know, Julian Castro is going to win his, his fair share. And then Andy Bashir is just going to win a little bit here. Maybe two delegates, maybe even three. But uh, let's excel Murphy a little more. And, you know, Clinton, I will excel. I think she would do pretty well in a state like this. And then Abrams will give a little more. So Murphy actually wins in Oregon and Washington, which is very interesting to me. In Alaska, state with progressive Democrats here. Uh, uh, this is another state that I think Murphy, oops, sorry, that Murphy would do very well in. But I also see Hillary Clinton doing pretty well here, you know, uh, just because I have no idea. <laughs> All right, uh, and, you know, Andy Bashir. I forgot about him. This state that Andy Bashir will do well in because, you know, these uh, rural areas, he really will connect with these voters, these rural progressive areas. Um, I could see him winning the primary here, actually. Uh, yeah, I guess. Nevada, a Bernie area um, that, you know, many Bernie areas are going to go to Chris Murphy. But this state with um, 
pretty good amount of, of minorities that I could see backing Stacey Abrams a lot. Maybe to tie uh, Murphy with eight delegates apiece. But Hillary Clinton, I you know, with the split progressive vote between Abrams and Murphy, I could see Hillary Clinton ex- ex- excelling. And then the uh, minorities, I could see backing Julian Castro a whole lot, um, well, Latinos. And then... Andy Bashir, Andy Bashir would actually do pretty well in the state, too. This would be an extremely close state. Chris Murphy wins. <laughs> um, all right, we have three toss Uh, You know, maybe Julian Castro wins one more. Maybe Murphy wins two more. But, uh, yeah, and then Abrams wins two more. I think Abrams could win this state. Oh, I, I really do. I think Abrams uh, would narrowly carry the state. Then in Hawaii, an extremely progressive state, um, I see them back in Chris Murphy. Um, I really do. I think Chris Murphy would win pretty big here, but I also think Julian Castro would really connect with the um, with the people of color in the state. Uh, you know, some actually might vote for Andy Bashir. I think he would do kind of well in the state. And then there's Hillary Clinton, who I don't think would do too well. And then, you know, I'm going to lower Chris Murphy a little bit and then give Stacey Abrams some more. And I think that's good. All right, so Chris Murphy carries the state of Hawaii. In Arizona, 67 delegates up for grabs here. Uh, all right, Arizona. Andy Bashir, I think, would do very well in a state like Arizona. I do think so. However, uh, many Latinos in the state that are, that are going to connect with Julian Castro and his policy, I could see him doing well here better than Andy Bashir. Um, Hillary Clinton, I don't see doing too well. I'll just give her a little bit. Stacey Abrams, I don't see, you know, of course she's going to get a little more than Hillary, but not much. Then Chris Murphy, I see doing awful in a state like this. So, I do think Arizona would be a Castro state, along with New Mexico. He really will connect with the Sun Belt, um, with, especially with states with many Latinos, you know, rather than states like, like Mississippi, Alabama, Louisiana, with not many. Uh, but Castro, I see winning big in New Mexico, 35%. Andy Bashir, I see doing well. Hillary Clinton, you know, not as much, but kind of well. Stacey Abrams, normal amount. And then Chris Murphy, not much. And then I'll give Chris Murphy five delegates. Maybe Julian Castro excels a little more than Hillary Clinton does too. In Utah, this is, you know, the state, this is a Bernie territory with many progressives. Uh, white progressives, you know, this is going to be Chris Murphy territory along with many of these bony areas as, as explained earlier. However, Andy Bashir, he really will connect with these voters. Not really Julian Castro, uh, not really Hillary Clinton, not really Stacey Abrams that much. Um, maybe he wins some. But really, this is going to be a contest between Murphy and Bashir. Um, I'll give Bashir two more and they're about tied. All right. Oh, it's actually Murphy takes the edge. Then Colorado, more Bernie territory. Chris Murphy, I see doing very well in Colorado because many white progressives here, as there are in Oregon and Washington. This really will be will, where Chris Murphy will excel, but I could see Stacey Abrams winning uh, some progressives here, along with Hillary Clinton, not as much, uh, not really Julian Castro, not really Andy Bashir. Uh, maybe Stacey Abrams rises a little bit, but Chris Murphy really will have the edge in a state like Colorado. Um, Idaho, more Bernie territory. Remember, this is a conservative state, but the Democrats in, in conservative states tend to be very, very progressive. So, more white progressives. Murphy will excel, as usual. Hillary Clinton, I, de- I see doing a second best, and then, you know, Andy Bashir might connect with these voters a little bit. You know, Chris, oops, sorry about that. Chris, oh my gosh, it's with the double clicking. Uh, Stacey Abrams wins one, Julian Castro, eh, I really don't even see Julian Castro or Stacey Abrams winning any. Maybe Stacey Abrams wins two. Hillary Clinton might excel. I think that's fair to say Chris Murphy will win here. Uh, Montana, Montana, you know, I see Hillary Clinton doing pretty well here, but really Chris Murphy will dominate again. But, I, you know, Hillary Clinton, she might connect with some women here in rural areas uh, to give her five delegates, maybe. But Stacey Abrams, Julian Castro, Andy Bashir might connect with voters a little bit, maybe as much as Hillary. But I think that's fair to say. Uh, now we're getting into still 2016 bony territory, but 2020 Biden territory. But 2020 territory or 2020 states don't really show us anything as much as 2016 because after South Carolina, Biden dominated everywhere. 
Um, but in Montana, I would say Chris Murphy would, uh, in Montana, I'll give Andy Bashir the edge. He really will connect with the people in this state just because of the climate in Kentucky, Montana, they're the same and they have the same issue. Or, yeah. Values, issues, whatever. Julian Castro, Louis Clinton, I could see winning a few. Stacey Abrams won maybe just because of, oh, there's zero left. Never mind. So Wyoming, I see going to Andy Bashir, and, you know, I see, uh, states like, North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma. I'm not saying all of them, obviously. But I could see this being Bashir territory as we're moving closer to Kentucky. And he's going to connect with these voters more. But Chris Murphy will win some of these uh, de delegates. And then Stacey Abrams might win a couple. Hillary Clinton might win. Uh, you know, I, Hillary Clinton I, I actually see doing well. Better than Abrams. I think she would win three delegates here. Uh, South Dakota. Hmm. South Dakota. Uh, yeah, I would give this to Bashir. I think this would be a very narrow state between Bashir and, uh, and Chris Murphy. I think they would both do well, but I think, uh, that, uh, Bashir really will have the edge here. Maybe Hillary Clinton wins one delegate. In Nebraska, I think this is, uh, you know, this is a state, this is a more conservative state, so that means the Democrats are going to be more progressive. So I think that Chris Murphy might win here. But I don't really see him doing well among uneducated white voters like that much. Um, you know, states like where he won that are categorized like Montana, Colorado, not really Utah or Idaho, but Oregon, Washington. They're going to be more educated, you know, open-minded to stuff. Um, so, Nebraska, I'm sorry, but it's not really like that. Uh, but, you know, he will win some votes, obviously. Stacey Abrams might win a few. Hillary Clinton might win a few. Julian Castro will win one delegate, I guess. But Bashir, I see dominating in the state of Nebraska. But Kansas, more educated voters. Um, this is going to be a close race between Murphy and Bashir. But uh, but I will give Bashir the edge just because you know this is a, this is an area where he will do better than state than more um, western states like Idaho, Montana, or the West Coast. So, uh, and then Hillary Clinton, I guess I'll give the last three to, uh, two for Hillary, one for Abrams, let's go. Oklahoma, sure it's close to Texas, but, uh, Julian Castro won't do very well, I really don't think so. Andy Bashir, I see doing well. Chris Murphy, again, I see doing well. Stacey Abrams might win a few just because it's in that southern region. Then Hillary Clinton might win those last eight delegates. Then in Louisiana. This is going to be more of Abrams' territory. You know, this is the good area for Abrams. You know, she she's going to be the choice of African-American voters, and that really will be very powerful. But Andy Bashir will win a lot of white Democrats down in the South. Um, you know, let's give him 25% of the vote. But Abrams will dominate in a state like Louisiana, but I, I could see a few African-Americans supporting Chris Murphy, a few supporting Hillary Clinton, and a few supporting Julian Castro, just because he does c come from the South. Um, Arkansas, another, another Abrams state. Hillary Clinton, you know, it's going to be much of the same here. Some are going to back Andy Bashir. Uh, you know, Chris Murphy, I don't see him, again, uneducated voters, um, yeah, Arkansas has a high, uh, illiteracy rate, so I could see Chris Murphy getting the zero push on the vote. Mississippi, Abrams will win, Hillary Clinton will win some, Julian Castro will win some, Andy Bashir will win, oh, let's low Julian Castro, give Bashir the edge here. Alabama, Chris Murphy, or I'm sorry, not Chris Murphy, Stacey Abrams will win big, uh, Hillary Clinton will win some, Eh, William Castro will win a few, and then Andy Bashir will take the rest. And in Florida, Florida, um, you know, I think Chris Murphy will do pretty well in the state like Florida, but I really do think just because of her southern dominance, I think Abrams will carry the state of Florida with about 40% of the vote. But I think Hillary Clinton could win some establishment votes here. Along with Julian Castro, he's going to win um, a very important, um, oh, he's going to win a very important group, uh, Latinos. In a state like Florida, there are many of them. So I think I'm going to lower Hillary Clinton and kind of boost Julian Castro right there. I think uh, overall, Abrams will win in Florida, but it would be a contest between Abrams and Castro. South Carolina, Abrams will dominate the South Carolina primary, very big primary. But I could see Hillary Clinton winning a few pe uh, delegates. Julian Castro will capture that uh, minority population. 
Uh, let me just give Andy Bashir some of those white votes. And then Stacey Abrams will win in North Carolina. Hillary Clinton will win some. William Cash will win some. Andy Bashir will win more. So I'm not giving Chris Murphy any delegates. I really don't see him doing well in the state in southern states. Um, Tennessee, same story. I don't even have to go through it anymore, do I? All right. I think that's fair to say. In Virginia, this is the first state that I will give to Hillary Clinton. This is a state that went heavily behind her in 2016, all right? They loved her. This is just because of this. It's an establishment state. Democratic establishment politicians live here. Joe Crowley, the former establishment uh, Democratic senator from New York City, lived in Virginia. And yes, he served New York City, yet he lived in Virginia. That just shows you how establishment the state of Virginia is. So Hillary Clinton would win some. Would win some. I see Stacey Abrams doing pretty well in a state like this, but I do see Chris Murphy doing pretty well. Um, I could see him, you know, about tying with Stacey Abrams. I think he would do pretty well here. Um, but we have to lower the vote just so we could get Julian Castro a few delegates and Andy Bush here a few delegates, and then we'll give Chris Murphy the rest. Perfect. Missouri, um, uh, Missouri, I see Hillary Clinton doing pretty well in among, uh, women. I think women would turn out good for her. But Andy Bashir, I think, would do excellent in a state like Missouri. It's right near his home state. Um, he really will connect with these voters. Abrams will win some. Uh, Murphy will win a few. Castro won't win any. In Iowa, a rural state, Andy Bashir will win the Iowa caucus. I can guarantee, well, I shouldn't say I can guarantee you. He, I think, I do think Andy Bashir would win the Iowa caucus. Because he connects with these voters so much. These farmers, these rural voters, he comes from the state of Kentucky. He will connect with them, what their issues are and what their values are. I see Chris Murphy doing pretty well. I can see Stacey Abrams doing pretty well also. I think Stacey Abrams would win a bit more than Murphy. You know, but she won't win that much. He'll win less than, I think he would win like, what, 36%. Hillary Clinton will win some, Julian Cash will win a few delegates, but Abrams will do pretty well, Murphy will do pretty well. Perfect. Minnesota, uh, Andy Bashir will do pretty well, Julian Cash won't, won't do good. Hillary Clinton, you know, this is a pretty establishment state in the political memorabilia could correct me if I'm wrong, but um, this is a pretty establishment state that I could see going to Hillary Clinton, uh, but Abrams, I think, would be pretty popular here, and Chris Murphy would also be popular here because remember, white progressives, uh, white educated progressives, I should say, they're going to turn out heavily for Chris Murphy. In Minnesota, I could see, uh, I, I think this is say with many educated white progressives, and I think it would be enough to tilt the state of Minnesota to Chris Murphy. Illinois, an establishment state, they're going to back Hillary Clinton. The establishment is going to push for Hillary Clinton's victory. Huge in a state like Illinois. I think Hillary Clinton would win here. But Julian Castro might win a few delegates. Andy Bashir and Andy Bashir, I really don't see doing too well in the state like Illinois. Abe Wims, I don't see doing too good. But Chris Murphy, I think, would do uh, very good also, but not enough to beat Clinton. Because remember, this is a state with white educated progressives. Chris Murphy's strong point right there. Uh, Wisconsin. Wisconsin, Wisconsin, Wisconsin. Um, you know, it's a rural state that I could see backing Andy Bashir. He will connect with rural Democrats. I do think so. Lillian Castro won't win many. Hillary Clinton won't win many. Stacey Abrams won't win. Um, I think she would win more than Hillary Clinton, but not many either. And then Chris Murphy, uh, he'll win some, but not as much as Andy Bashir. I think Andy Bashir really would excel in a state like Wisconsin. In Michigan, African Americans are going to dominate this primary as they do in South Carolina. Abrams will win big. It's as simple as that. Chris Murphy might win some. Hillary Clinton might win some. Cashville might win some. Bashir might win some. But Abrams will dominate. Indiana, uh, hmm, Bashir will dominate here. He really, he's just going to connect with these voters a lot. And I mean a lot, you know, some minorities might back Hulu and Castro, some might back Hillary Clinton, some might back Stacey Abrams, Abrams, and Chris Murphy will do pretty well, I think, but not enough to beat Bashir, uh, Stacey Abrams, yep, there we go. Then in Ohio, states with families, uh, suburban areas, I think Hillary Clinton would do pretty well in a state like this, but I think Chris Murphy would, because remember, educated white, uh, progressives, they're gonna back Chris Murphy a lot, um, would he win? Hmm. I think women would back Stacey Abrams a lot here. Not many votes for Julian Castro. And Andy Bashir will connect with a lot of these voters. 
um, pretty split vote here. Um, but Chris Murphy does come out on top, apparently. West Virginia, extremely progressive, progressive. But Andy Bashir will win just because he'll connect with these voters. I think he'll win by wide margins. Chris Murphy w might win some progressive. Stacey Abrams might, but uh, Clinton and Castro, I don't see them winning a lot. In Maryland, Hillary, yeah, another establishment Democratic state, Hillary Clinton, I think, would would win this state. I do think so, but I also think Chris Murphy m might connect with this Northeast enough to win him 24 delegates. Stacey Abrams will win a few. Julian Castro will win three. And Andy Bashir will, you know, eh, not win many, but Hillary Clinton and Chris Murphy really will do pretty good in this state. Delaware, President Biden's home state. Who will win here? Hillary Clinton, obviously, she is the most establishment Democrat. I think this would be a Hillary landslide in a state like Delaware because Biden will back Hillary. I do think so by wide margins or by big margins. So, um, she would win in the state of Delaware. And then Chris Murphy will connect with this Northeast. Uh, Chris Murphy will do well in this Northeast. All right, this is going to be his stronghold right here. And Abrams will win a few. I don't know. Or in Delaware? Nah, Abrams will win a few, but not Castro or Bashir. Chris Murphy, I think, would take the rest. All right, in New Jersey, Hillary Clinton would do well. Abrams would do well. Murphy would do well. Uh, I think Murphy would win the state, especially saying that the governor's last name is Murphy. How about that? People would think that they're voting for their governor when they're voting for Chris Murphy, and that will tilt the state to him. Um, you know, not much for Bashir or Castro, really. There, how about that? But yeah, I think Chris Murphy would win in New Jersey. In Pennsylvania, I see, I see mom's turning out for Hillary Clinton pretty good, along with Stacey Abrams, though. She really will till that suburban mom vote. Um, Chris Murphy will do pretty well in Pennsylvania. Julian Castro won't do well. Andy Bashir won't do well. So it's a contest between Clinton, Abrams, and Murphy. I think this would be very competitive. But I do think moms would turn out enough to tilt the state. To Abrams, I know you're thinking, wow, but uh, it, it really will be a close state, you know, it's not like there's one big winner, it's going to be extremely close, sure, uh, you know, the state is the color of Stacey Abrams, the Stacey Abrams are a little thingy here, but, you, you know, it, it really doesn't mean that much to win the state. In D.C., Hillary Clinton, 90%. They're going to back Hillary Clinton a lot, and I think Chris Murphy will take 10% just because he's a senator and he lives there, whatever. But yeah, not many delegates come from D.C. It really doesn't matter. In New York, Chris Murphy will do well. Hillary Clinton will do well also, though. Uh, Julian Castro will win some Latinos. Andy Bashir won't win any. Stacey Abrams will win many African Americans. She'll be pretty popular here. But Hillary Clinton, just because she's the former senator, from New York. I think Hillary Clinton really will come out on top, but I see Murphy and Abrams doing pretty well here. And in Massachusetts, um, this is going to be Murphy territory just because, just because he comes right next door from Connecticut, but pretty establishment state. I'll give Hillary Clinton some votes. Bashir Castro won't do well. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, Murphy will dominate, and I think that would be the map. Rhode Island, Murphy will dominate again. Clinton will win some. And Abrams will win some. I'm not even bothering with Bashir and Castro. Vermont, extremely progressive here. Uh, Chris Murphy will do well, but Stacey Abrams will be that very progressive candidate. Uh, I'll give her some of the delegates. I'll give Murphy some of the delegates. Um, I don't see one delegate going to any of the others. So I think... Uh, I think... Yeah, I think Murphy would come out on top. Really, I do. And then, oops, sorry. What does super mean? Super. Oh, super delegates. I forgot about super delegates. This is a huge chunk of delegates here. All right, super delegates. Um, I did know the definition of those at some point. Um, it's going to be pretty split. Look at this delegate. Wow, look at that. The little bar graph. A lot of delegates here. All right, super delegates. Um, I think a lot would back Chris Murphy. And remember, super delegates are the reason why Hillary Clinton won the nomination. Well, a huge reason because the establishment decides the super delegates. Super delegates are people like Chris Murphy. They're they're senators. They're congresspeople. They're mayors. They're governors. All right, and 
they're going to back establishment candidates. I don't see any super dele- or I see very few super delegates supporting Bashir, Castro. Some will back Abrams, African American ones, but they're going to back Clinton mostly, and then some for Murphy, right? Because these are the establishment candidates. Then in New Hampshire, Hillary Clinton will do pretty well. Stacey Abrams will do pretty well, but I see. Um, or actually, Andy Bashir, I think would do very well because um, he connects with these rural voters, another generally conservative state, and I think he would win the state of North Carolina. I'm sorry, New Hampshire. don't know why I said North Carolina. And in Maine, I see Andy Bush winning again. Uh, well, maybe not. Chris Murphy will win some. This doesn't really matter. Maine, 24 delegates. Stacey Abrams might win some, but overall, Chris Murphy wins. So, um, oh, it appears that we have 36 delegates still up for grabs. Where? That's what I want to know. Toss-up. Where are these toss-up delegates? No, no, no. Yeah, we we awarded those. Hmm. Maybe it's an error. Well, anyway. It's over. We did it. Um, I'm just going to count this. So, who wins? Let's see. Andy Bashir has 642 delegates. Julian Castro has 461. Hillary Clinton has 1,074. Stacey Abrams has 1,234. And Chris Murphy has 1,303. Chris Murphy is the winner against Bashir, Castro, Clinton, Abrams, and Murphy. Um, Chris Murphy wins the presidential nomination. What a shock. So, um, Chris Murphy came in first, Abrams came in second, Clinton came in third, Bashir came in fourth, and Julian Castro came in fifth. He did pretty bad. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Um, you know, I mean, I took so much time on this. Please award me with a subscription and watch all my other videos, and I hope to see you all very, very soon.